Chapati, a popular snack enjoyed by many locals here in Uganda. People love it, not just for its taste, but also for its pocket-friendly price. It's very cheap to eat wheat products like chapati. It's easy to cook and keeps you fuller for longer. Many wheat products like spaghetti and bread, among others, are also becoming popular meals for many locals. And local wheat millers say this has increased the demand for the baking flour. Wheat has changed from being a luxury to being an essential food item. Very few families can go without a wheat product on their table. Figures from Uganda's revenue collection body indicate that wheat imports to Uganda have increased from 130,000 metric tons in 2010 to over 320,000 metric tons in 2016. Wheat millers say this figure is going up every day. This milling plant churns out about 500 tons of wheat flour every day and much of it is imported. Uganda's imports have been growing because local production can't meet rising demand. Local millers say 98% of the wheat consumed in Uganda is imported. Only 2% is sourced locally. This is because Uganda does not have the vast amount of land and special climate needed to cultivate enough wheat to meet the local demand. Millers say this is likely to affect the consumer price. Changing price is not that easy. We always swallow, and swallow that. If it is a loss, we always swallow it. You can always even work at minus 3% just to maintain your customers. And the other biggest challenge also, there are now a lot of wheat millers who have, we are coming in, into this business. Uganda imports most of its wheat from South America, Russia, and Europe. And the growing markets in the neighboring South Sudan, Diara Congo, and Northern Tanzania are also contributing to this growth. Michael Baleke, CCTV, Kampala, Uganda.